It was a celebration of a life well spent as late Salimot Olaleye Elizabeth Onosoya, mother of the former chief executive officer of First Bank of Nigeria, Dr. Olabisi Onosoya, was laid to rest. The event organized in Lagos Heart the Royal Highnesses, businessmen, and managing directors of banks, among others, in attendance. Our correspondent, Paul George, was there and now reports. Different groups, family members, and friends gathered at the Abundant Life Baptist Church, Ikorudu, to pay their last respect to Mama, the late Selimot Olaleye Elizabeth Onosoya, as her remains were ushered into the church. The pastor gave words of exhortation and prayers. Jesus knew her, God knew her. She wasn't a church goer. She wasn't just going to church to mark attendance. She was a disciple. And not only that, Jesus knew her. Jesus knew her. She was a disciple. So when a believer, when a lover of Jesus dies, he goes home. He goes to sleep. He goes to rest. At the reception, class of 1978 of the Eco Boys High School, where the deceased son, Chief Dr. Olabisi Onosoya, attended, were visibly represented. There were mixed feelings for the children, family and guests as glowing tributes poured in. The first son, Dr. Olabisi Onosoya, eulogized his late mother, speaking volumes of her selflessness and indelible mark. She left. She was the most humble person I've ever met in my life. A very dedicated woman, a very pious woman. Every moment that I spent with her was a moment to remember. And I learned a lot from her. Her native intelligence was second to none. And she brought us up to be pious and dedicated, to be God fearing, and to respect every other person that comes around us. She was a great woman, a very hardworking woman, and I will miss her. Dr. Onosoya said he would not think twice to have her as a mother all over again if reincarnation is possible. His wife, Helen, recounted the numerous encounters with Mama and how she treated them with love. There's no doubt about that. She's the greatest mom that ever lived, and I still have not recovered from the shock of her death, even though we were prepared for that death. May I so rest in peace. She was a wonderful mother. She cooks the cocoa for us, so she takes care of us. She's good with everybody, even in our area. She they call her Mama Ijebu. Mama Ijebu is an awesome woman. When her mother was alive, she used to personally cook for her mother, her mom. She would ground um, pepper. Ijebu, a cocoa she will do it for the mother. Yes, so of course now, why not? And the son too is very good. Wonderful, he raised the children very well. So I love him, I love Mama, I love everything about Mama. Mama did well, may I so gentle so rest in perfect peace. Former Ogun State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Otumba Dayo Adine and Tunde Kweku also paid tribute saying it is joyful that our children can carry on the Anasoya's legacy. We are more than friends. We are from the same hometown, like two streets down from each other, in Ibefu, in Odogulu local government. Mama was very dedicated to our children and to our family. And you can see by the caliber of children that she raised. And you can also see by the kind of caliber of people that are here from all over Egypt, from all over Ogun State, all over Nigeria. So we pray that God will grant her eternal life. And we pray that uh, the family that she left behind, God will strengthen them and give them the, the fortitude to carry on and continue to make the Onosanya family proud. If you have the grace of God, you will live long and you live well. And if you are a prayerful mother, your children will get to greater heights. For this day, this is a day that is a, great, a day of grace. Because many people don't live as long as 18 years. But she lived 18 years and she has children that are successful and are going to raise her name above the bar she has set for them. I pray for the family that God will give them all long life to see their own children, children and see their children grow and wear, take off the shoes. No, if you, if you have a shoe and your child shoes, your leg of your child can fit in that shoe, you are blessed. Late Selimot Olale Elizabeth Onosoya died at the age of 88. Paul George, Plus TV News. <laughs>
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.